why. And Jane, when you make wine in the Midwest, you need every trick you can think of to call attention to it. So this winemaker adopted a gimmick started by the French, something called Beaujolais Nouveau. It has become something of a happening. Beaujolais Nouveau from France being rushed to restaurants and wine cellars around the world to see who gets the first bottle. It's a promoter's dream. The idea of a contest has helped the French reap enormous profits from the newly bottled wine, which used to be tough to sell. This year alone, the French will sell $56 million worth. Well, if there's a profit to be made, can the Americans be far behind? Look no further than Main Street in Galena, Illinois. A full week before the French Beaujolais Nouveau began gushing into the United States, Galena Cellars, a midget in the world of winemaking, began distributing the first bottles of its own Nouveau wine on the street and in the local pubs. And they couldn't have loved it more if it had been from the French countryside. It's a drinker's wine. After the first couple sips, it goes down easily. I think the wine is fine. <laughs> the label for the Nouveau wine was designed by a Frenchman, Eric Faramus. He's signing posters of the label. What does he think of this Midwestern American wine? J'aime bien, c'est un bon vin. Which means? I, I, I like it, that's a good wine. <laughs> the person who runs this wine enterprise is Christina Lawler. The color is beautiful. She graduated 10 years ago from the University of California's winemaking program. While her classmates went off to the Napa Valley or Sonoma in California, she went home to McGregor, Iowa and started Christina Winery in an old post office building. She specializes in fruit wines made from things like red raspberries. It takes about a thousand pounds of raspberries to make a hundred gallons of wine. Oh, so it's such an intensive, fruit intensive wine. Christina opened up her second winery in an old railroad freight depot in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Her mother works there selling wine. It's very much of a family business. And in Germany, they serve it for a dessert wine. My mom, she's uh, great. Sometimes I, I catch her saying things like, uh, isn't this wine yummy to a customer? Those terms that she uses come from her heart, and, and exactly, they relate to what she means by yummy, rather than saying, uh, you know, this wine is very, um, well, what can I say, has a lot of finesse, you know. I mean, what's that going to mean to anybody? Chris's brother, Tim, also works in the La Crosse winery. He's getting a batch of cranberries ready for pressing. Another brother, Scott, works in her third winery in Galena. So does her sister-in-law, Karen, and Karen's five-year-old, Ryan. Christina has become something of a celebrity in Galena. Ooh, that's tart. The TV crews were there when she unveiled her 1985 Nouveau wine. And the mayor, 86-year-old Frank Einsweiler, offered the first toast. Now to the Lawler family and to their Nouveau wine. Let us drink to the Nouveau wine. As for Chris, she's not getting rich, and her wines haven't won any international prizes. But she loves what she does, and she loves making other people happy. All of a sudden, I look out there, and I see people walking away with cases of wine, and they're actually buying it, you know, and I, really, that's what... I'm like, wow, they, they really like it. New Year in Galena. Christine is selling about $500,000 worth of wine a year right now, which makes her one of the world's smallest winemakers. But she really does enjoy her work, and the wine is good, so what more could you want? <laughs> would you say people are actually buying it? Yeah, it's a remarkable thing. A great treat.